Oh, hello. What is this? Gen or oh, season one? Almarouge, indeedy. Hydreigon. I haven't seen that in a long time. But this is almost assuredly a special attacking team, though, it looks like. My goal, PC Ronin, is just to have fun. If I get to Masters on the way, great. As long as I have interesting matches along the way. Uh, I'm kind of hesitant to bring Gudra here because they are special attack heavy. Heatran could be an option here. Uh, let's bring our Urshbu of our own. The Landorus and the Gudra stay at home for this one. Alright, Armor Rouge and... A shiny Armor Rouge, by the way. And... Annihilate. Here's the question, is this Final Gambit Annihilate or is this... Not <laughs> the Final Gambit Annihilate? Something tells me he's gonna Final Gambit, bring in... Indeedy. Expanding Force. Let me fake out the Armor Rouge. That's U-turn, just in case he doesn't actually Final Gambit us. Fake out Armor Rouge. Bulk up! Ooh! Considerably worse, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, it can be weak armor. Ooh, that's very true. But it isn't weak armor, though. Uh, so it is flash fire, then. Speaking of flash fire, let's bring Heatran of our own. The bulk up is kind of scary. Actually, I should have been. I should have brought in my Urshifu instead. What am I doing? Yeah, let's set up Reflect and go for Protect. He probably sees Heatran is super effective and goes for an attacking move. If he bulks up again, I'm... Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is kind of making me wish I did bring my uh, Gudra plus Landris. Parting Shot, Intimidate, Loop the Annihilate. Terra Fairy to resist the Fire-type armor cannons. And yeah, Defiant is probably also... Richard brings out a great point. Defiant on the Annihilate. There's the NDD. Psychic Surge comes out now. Ooh, this also prevents parting shots, we have to remember now. Because of Prankster, these technically count as priority moves, so we cannot fake out, we cannot parting shot on this Psychic Field. Has he set up again? Okay, Rage Fist. The plus one, and Rage Fist. We need to somehow bring in Urshifu safely. Safety is the uh, important word here. So we know he has Ndidi, we know he has Annihilate. I think we can go Terra Grass here. Yeah, Ndidi just has Follow Me, doesn't it? Let's bring Rillaboom in, get rid of the Psychic Field. He's using Rage Fist. Right? I don't think I'm gonna Terra. Helping- oh, is this gonna be Helping Hand Rage Fist? He could go Close Combat. Yeah, there's Follow Me. Oh, sorry, Follow Me. Not, uh, helping hand. Drain Punch. Uh, how much did that do? 100 damage. That did not do a lot. Special Defense Force, which is kind of nice. Mm. Wow, li literally 100 damage on the dot. We do survive another one. Although I don't know if I want to risk that. Uh, we can taunt the NDD, actually. Yeah, let's taunt DD. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about a potential low roll, so actually, mm, we can protect, haha. -ha. Get some leftovers plus uh, grassy surge heal healing. I'm just worried about him bulking up. I, I suppose we could also taunt his Annihilate as well. Drain Punch, yep. Taunt DD. Yeah, he's not using Follow Me though, so this is probably an attacking move. Dazzling Gleam, yep. How much does this do to... Yeah, it doesn't take too much damage. Uh, do we bother with a with a taunt onto the Annihilate? Or do we just go for a potential KO? Plus one attack. Let's U-turn the Ndidi. Go Terra. Flash Cannon the Ndidi as well. I think I leave the Annihilate to have Urshifu deal with it later on. If I can get up this U-turn, I can bring in the Urshifu on that slot on the left there. Hopefully, I survived the Drain Punch. Well, I should survive the Drain Punch, actually. From this Annihilate now. Yep. Does about, what, 50 damage? Leftovers plus Grossy Search should heal us up from that. Flash Cannon does uh, decent damage. U-turn does get the KO on the DD. Perfect. 
Now I can bring in Urshifu. If he brings in Almirouge, Surging Strikes that. Uh, if he brings in whatever his final Pokemon is, we'll see. Let's see, we heal up from 80 to 91 plus 16 percent or 16, yeah, 16 of our health, so back up to 102. We can take two more Drain Punches, I think. Actually, no, yeah, two more, three more, because we'll heal up from that anyway. Almirouge comes out now. Does it have Protect? We can Surging Strikes. And do I detect again? Or oh, protect again, sorry, yeah. I mean, yeah, why not? We get some extra health back. He probably catches onto this and he might be attacking the Urshfu in this time now, though. So to strike this KO is Omarouge, yep. If he was smart, he would have been bulking up, I think. But he might still be doing it here now, though, so let's see. Rage Fist still on Rage Fist with no stacks, mind you. I've not attacked you once. That means Heatran can heal up. Honestly, depending on what his final Pokemon is, I think I can just KO this Annihilate straight up with um, Surging Strikes plus an attack from Heatran. Surging Strikes plus Heat Wave, maybe. A Bomber Snow. Aurora Veil. Let's Surging Strikes the Annihilate and then Heat Wave. Time to go in the offensive now. He can Terra here though, which is... Ooh, does he go Terra Fire or Annihilate? Ooh, does he go Terra Fire or Annihilate? Ah, uh, Terra... Water, Obama Snow. Yeah, I, I, like, I have telegraphed my, my Protect on this Heatran so much, like, I'm surprised he hasn't started Protecting it. Uh, this is gonna do about, what, half health-ish? Mm, does he have Citrus Berry on this? No Citrus Berry? Uh, Rage Fist, this is gonna get a KO. On to... Urshifu, yeah. Oh, we survived, though! Heatwave. Oh, don't tell me you missed the Annihilate. Oh, that's horrible. That means you can set up... Oh, we get a burn. Kind of interesting. Aurora Veil? Blizzard. Oh, goodness. If it weren't... for... the miss... We would be a lot, in a lot more of a comfortable situation, but, uh, hmm. It's an Annihilate with four stacks, oh no, with three stacks of Rage Fist. And plus one bulk up. Flash, I probably should have just Flash Cannoned it. I, I, I should have absolutely just Flash Cannoned it in hindsight. Hmm. He's faster than us, absolutely. Well then, if it isn't the, uh, the good old classic hindsight. We had this one as well. Flash Cannon, if we had Flash Cannon, we would have probably KO'd it, and then we could have just gone for Wood Hammer onto the Obama Snow here. Uh... Wood Hammer, Or, yeah, sorry, or Terror Blast as well. Rain, pu Rain Punch the Grim Snarl. Interesting play. Do you drain enough HP to survive a wood hammer? No, you do not. And the critical hit as well. Oh my goodness. I don't think that... Maybe that mattered? Hang on a second. We might still be in the... Actually, oh no. We, are we still in this? We might still... We are still in... We won this, I think. Do we not? We're faster than the Obama Snow. He, he, his Blizzard would KO us, but we are faster. We move first. Wood hammer probably KOs. I can set up a screen for the blizzard. Yeah. Oh my goodness, he threw! Why did why did you drain punch? I mean I'm not gonna complain, but still. Never mind. You can light screen and now we just wood hammer. Th this guy had this one. He had that one. Rage fist the Rillaboom. Maybe even set up an Aurora. <laughs> Oh, he is punching the air right now. He's like, oh, 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 oh. why did I do? Why did I drain punch? Oh, oh, oh. He threw his switch ac across the room. It disconnected. <laughs> Communication with the other trainer was interrupted. Hmm, I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he absolutely had that one though. To be fair, on on our side, we absolutely misplayed. I'm pretty sure if I had not gone for Heatwave, if I had just gone for a guaranteed hit on the Annihilate with the Terra Blast, that would have gotten the KO uh, and we would have been fine. Blizzard would have still double KO'd us, 
But I mean, having the uh, roller boom, you saw that we wouldn't, we would have won that anyway. But yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a bit. Uh, that was an interesting exchange there. Once again, I'm gonna say this is a special heavy team. So let's bring in Grim Snarl. These two and hmm. Will Gudra be useful here? I don't think so. Maybe for the Lilligant, I guess? But nah, let's bring in Landris. This is a very special heavy team though. Lilig oh, not the Lilligant. Everything else though. The Bundle, the Kilowattrol, the Volcarona. The Bramblegast is an interesting bring. I haven't seen that too often. Curious to see how he uses it though. Do you respect the Bramblegast to counter the Urshifu? <laughs> is the Bramblegast really the counter for Urshifu? We'll see. Kilowattrol, Bramblegast, Tailwind, turn one. Let's see it. And welcome, Natalia. That's Tornadus. Uh, this could be... Hmm. Tailwind plus... What is Killer Watchel gonna throw out? I know it has something very scary. But let's detect. Oh, it's Ghost Cross. Ah. Yeah, that actually is the perfect counter then for Oshifu. <laughs> There's a Tailwind. Wind power, yep. Got the light screen, but what does it do? Electro ball into Urshifu, yep. That's why we protect. I wonder then, can we go for a parting shot? Kill a Wattrol. Does that use its, its like stack of wind power thing? If it was protected. Because I think I can bring in Landorus now. I probably could have brought in Landorus previous turn. The Electro Ball would have been eaten. And then I can go Rock Slide next turn. But the thing is, Tailwind does make this a bit difficult. He probably Bleak Wind Storms here. It's a shot. We can bring in our Heatran on the side. And then, let's see. He probably goes Electro Ball, Bleak Wind, right? All gonna be about playing around this lead of his and how aggressive it is with that tailwind. Electro ball, yep, into the Landorus slot so it doesn't affect us. Bleak wind storm, yep. Oh, and we dodge as well with the Landorus. Huge. We take very little damage. Perfect. Heatran speed force. That's fine by me. We can heal that up from the leftovers as well. All right, and I'm pretty sure he can't do too much to me right here now, right? Yeah, he doesn't have anything to damage me with. So, let's go Heat Wave, Rock Slide. He doesn't have anything to do. Yeah, he can't damage me. Well, I say he can't, but he doesn't do too much damage to me. What would Killer Watch will have? Tailwind? Well, no, he probably has Tailwind already. So he switches out. Yep. Brings in. If he brings in Bramble Ghost, then Heat Wave does a lot to it. Iron Bundle. Uh, Rock Slide does a lot. It is Booster Energy. Speed, of course. Bleak and Storm, that's fine. Speed drops, but that's... No, doesn't really matter. Yes, Tailwind. Rock Slide connects on both. Does decent damage. Heatwave does pick up the KO. Yes, it does. Oh my goodness, look at them. I'm, I, I am that kid on Showdown. Just bringing in legendaries and like, oh, surely I win. Because I have so many legendaries on my team. It's it. I mean, hey. Heatran, Landorus. They're doing the job. And this means that Killer Watch Roll comes out that it has nothing against us. Rock Slide can KO it easily. And Lilligan comes out. This is easy. Um, this is an easy KO with Heat Wave. Uh, let's go Terra Grass Heat Wave. And Rock Slide. Going Terra Gross just to make sure that he can't do any damage to me. Oh, well, he could have Acrobatics, I suppose. Actually, yeah, I don't know why I'm going Terra Gross. The Hurricane would do a lot to me, so... This is just to flex on him, I suppose. Electro Ball. This should be... Mm, actually does quite a bit of damage. Critical hit, no one do I. Okay. Ice Spinner. Ooh, actually, hang on a second. I may have spoken a bit too soon. Well, Heatwave hopefully does a lot of damage to the Lilligant. Uh, 
Ja, uh, Sash? Sash. And wait, wind power, heat wave. Oh, it's it's heat wave. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the fact that Lilligan has Ice Spinner, I completely forgot about that. Which means that, oh, well, Tailwind does go out now, though. Plus, we can bring in Grimmsnarl, Fake Out, plus Heat Wave again. And this is going to be a KO. Heat Wave, Fake Out, and this will KO. I mean, I guess he can technically Hurricane me if he wants to. With the killer watch from now, which is kind of scary to think about. Actually, with Electro Ball Wind Power Charge, this might actually KO my Heat Ran. Uh, to be fair, though, if I did Terra my Landris, that was dead anyway, because it would have been Terra flying. So this outcome was pretty much guaranteed anyway. Take out KO's Lilligant. Electro Ball onto the. Ooh, a lot of damage. 150. But Heat Wave does pick up the KO, though. And there you go. Activates wind power, but yeah. <laughs> Good luck making use of that. That all came off of the huge plays from the screen from Grimmsnarl and then switching into Landorus. Having those nice switch outs to bring in a new Pokemon carefree without any worry about taking damage is huge.